you can go. Judy can be quiet. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Let us know, let us know, let us know. Get out. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> what I've got for Christmas is an annoying family. Hello! Today I am going back to my roots. Uh, for the Christmas period, I am staying at my mum's house and I felt like filming a video, so I've got my camera here and turned it on. I am sitting by a big fat window, so if the lighting changes, don't blame me, blame the world. Also, if you're watching this on the 28th of December when I plan to upload it, so tomorrow, it's my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Christmas has been, so this video is all about what I got for Christmas. First things first, I have this. The World Comfiest Hoodie. It's by Jack Wills, and I got this from Tanya's parents. Yesterday was a day where I did nothing. I just hung out in the house all day. I had no t-shirt on, I had this hoodie on, and it's so soft, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna live in this. This is well out of my league, is what it is. I think it's like the world's smallest, or a very small quadrocopter. I tried playing with it yesterday. I've broken it three times already. Um, I'm gonna get it out so you can see. It is now held together by masking tape on one, two. So a good 50% of the propellers now are broken. <laughs> Oh, oh! Ow! Oh no, stop, stop, stop! Ow! God, I got my fingers! Ah, it stings! It's really good, I love it. This gift here also came from Tanya's parents and it is incredible. I thought it was going to be quite anticlimactic because you open up this thing and inside is just couple of pieces of paper and I was like oh great paper amazing I can't get it out now but when I show you what the paper says if I can get it out it's very very exciting what it says is that Tanya and I are going to be feeding the penguins at London Zoo now if you know anything about me and Tanya you will know that penguins are our favorite animals we have a lot of penguin themed things around and in fact Tanya even named one of her nail polishes penguin chicks after our favorite animal there are penguins, and there is in fact a new penguin chick in London Zoo, and we're going to be feeding them. It's very, very exciting. I can't wait. I will be vlogging it, so you can watch that on my second channel, I suppose. A little while before Christmas, my mum called me up in a real panic and was saying, Jim, I don't know what to buy you for Christmas. Please help me. Give me some clues. She has four children, and apparently I am the hardest to buy for. At the time when she called me, I happened to be wearing this shirt, which isn't actually much of a coincidence because I've been living in this shirt. I love it because it's really soft and warm and thick and great for layering. You can wear it over a t-shirt or a vest, under a coat, and it's kind of the perfect winter shirt, I suppose. Anyway, I happened to be wearing it, and I said, I'll tell you what, Mum, you can get me the same shirt in the other colour. So now I have two shirts. I've been living in this one, it's due a wash, so I think I'll wear this one tomorrow. It's from All Saints, um, and honestly, it is my favourite shirt, times two. Chocolates! I can't even remember who bought me this. I think it might have been Tanya's dog, which makes me feel a bit guilty, because generally I don't like the dog that much. It just jumps on me and licks me, and it's quite sharp. So um, it got me chocolate, and now I like it a lot more. Very much looking forward to eating the crunchy. One of my favourite chocolates. Some gloves. I have a, a t-shirt type thing, like a skin tight t-shirt thing for the gym. And um, some leggings. So I run a lot and at the moment it's bloody freezing because it's winter. So I need some extra kind of thermal layers. So thermal leggings, a tight t-shirt thing to put under the top I'm wearing and gloves. One of my favourite gifts, actually, because this is, uh, it means a lot to me. Running is something I really enjoy, and every time I get home, I'm really cold, and Tanya's like, you need some warmer stuff. So she went out and got me some. It's a nice, stinky sphere. I write a lot of notes, which is good, because I've got two notebooks. This one from Tanya's little brother, who's called Oscar, and one here that I don't have to show you, because I'm already using it, from uh, Marcus and Naomi. This is called Good Jeans, and it's a facial treatment thing. Um, I mentioned it in my monthly favourites last month, and I've been loving it. I've been using Tanya's, and it ran out the other day, and I did kind of drop a hint and said, I really want to make sure there's this Good Jeans stuff in my stocking, just so you know. And there it was. My penultimate gift came from my sister, Sam. So we do uh, Secret Santa in my house, which means that basically you get one special gift 
from one person in the family. Just because we're all a bit older now, we don't need loads of stuff. Uh, this is from Cartier. How do I open it? I think I'll pull this off. Um, and it is an aftershave or fragrance and I think a deodorant. This smells incredible. I'm very fussy when it comes to aftershave. So when I opened it, I was like, oh great, a smell I might not like. But honestly, it's really, really nice. I'm gonna spray it on now, not in my face. I don't know how to describe a smell to you other than to say that this is a nice smell. I really like the packaging too. It looks like a terrifying sex toy. Not that I'll be using it for a sex toy, obviously. Strictly for fragrance. Uh, I think it's called Pasha de Cartier. Edition Noir. Finally, my favourite gift of all time, in fact, came from Tanya Burr. Now, um, it came in a letter like this. I'm not going to show you what the letter says because it's full of sentimental things that won't mean anything to you, but mean a lot to me. On the front, though, it says, to my best friend. That's me. So, my mum and my sisters are going to New York on the 1st of January. Now, when my mum told me, I was obviously very, very excited for her, but also a little bit jealous because New York is my favourite place and... I really wanted to go, but I didn't want to intrude on girly time because of my sisters and my mum. However, Tanya was already working her magic behind the scenes and had already spoken to the girls, and I was going too. I just didn't know it. So when I read this letter, it said that I was going to New York for a few days. New York is my favourite place in the whole wide world, and I can't wait to go. And getting to go with my favourite people ever is going to be amazing. My mum's never been, so we'll be showing her all the sights. I'll be doing loads of shopping. It's going to be just incredible. Very, very excited. I'm hoping it's going to snow too because I've never been to New York in the snow. So that is what I got for Christmas. I very much hope you enjoyed this video and I also very much hope you had an amazing Christmas and uh, whether you got everything you wanted or not, just had fun with your family, enjoying the festive season. This is probably going to be the last video I film for this channel this year. So. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout all of 2014. It's been by far the best year of my life. It's been amazing. 2015 is going to be even better, so stick around. Now, as I mentioned, it's my birthday, so if you want to make me very, very happy, you can leave me a comment or you can give this video a thumbs up. Or, in fact, you can share it. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. In fact, click all the buttons down there. Just not the thumbs down or the flaggy button, because that's really, really bad. Uh, I love you and I will see you next year. Goodbye!